Somebody says, when are you coming to Zambia? <laughs> Zambia is a different situation now. You know, the last time I was in Zambia was three, four years ago. Is it four years or five years ago? Somebody's asking me, Papa, when are you coming to Zambia? Oh, you know, you know what I've been speaking in your nation, about your nation. You know it. Uh, when are you coming? I, I, my, my spirit have never left Zambia. Zambia is a wonderful place. But you see, there's a problem now. The one that is there in power, they call him Akainde Chilema. You know, this man does not like to be criticized. You speak against him, he arrests you. <laughs> That's why a lot of people you are in the opposition, they are being arrested. So somebody say, Papa, when are you coming to Zambia? If I come to Zambia now, if I say, okay, I'm coming to Zambia, you know what is going to happen? They are going to be waiting for me at the airport. I'm telling you. You don't listen to opposition voice. You don't listen to opposing voice. When are you coming to Zambia? If I come to Zambia now, you know what they're going to They are going to set me up at the airport. You know it. I know it. You know it. I know it. When are you coming to Zambia? When are you coming to Zambia? If I come to Zambia now, you know what they're going to do. You know the last time I come to Zambia, they, they set me up. So if I come to Zambia now, you know what is going to happen. They are going to set me up at the airport. Eh? They are going to set me, they will set me up and then they are going to arrest me again. You know that, you know it is going to happen. You know it. Everybody knows it. So this is why I've been, for those of you that have been saying, when is the prophet coming, when is the prophet coming, he doesn't want to, you know if I come to Zambia now, they're going to set me up at the airport with a fabrication. Because of what I'm saying, that God is with Edgar Chagualungu. And anybody that prophesied that God is with Edgar Chagualungu, they are going to arrest that person. Including me setting me up the moment i i begin to arrive into your airport you know what is going to happen already they're going to send information oh the prophet is coming then the moment i come in you see what is going to happen a lady from nigeria is it from nigeria each your mom must pray any woman that is fighting your family must go down so this is my reply for those of you that say why have we not seen the prophet coming to Zambia? Why have we not seen the prophet coming to Zambia? The prophet wants to come, but when you begin to speak, you know what happened last time? You know? Last time I came to your country, you saw the outcome. You saw the outcome of that coming. I was set up. I was set up. That was then. What about now? So the one that is there now, if you speak against the one that is in power, a kind of Ichilema, they are going to set you up at the airport. You know it, I know it. And instead of the prophet to go for crusades, they are going to set the prophet up. So that is why you have not seen me come. So I, because why I this, anybody that say God is for Edgar Chagwalungu, it become a setup, an arrest. You know it. You know it. I know it. We know it. And everybody knows it. That is why you see I go to Botswana for now. Because the people of Botswana, they be, the people of Botswana, they are, they, they are friendly, they, are, they, are, they allow you to speak, they come in, nobody is coming for you. But this one that is there in Zambia, as long as you say the one there is okay, you know you are okay. But the moment you begin to say God is with Edgar Chagualungu, then you are, you are in danger. You are in danger. That's what happened to me last time. When I came last time, I said, God is with this man. This fabricated fabrication against me, and I was arrested. I was arrested. 
So you can imagine now if I come now and you know I've been speaking. Edgar is coming back again. Even when this man, before the, immediately he lost the election, I said he's coming back again. The people of Zambia are going to cry. We want him to be back. The moment I begin to speak about that from that time, they have put my name in the list. The moment this prophet come to Zambia, arrest him. So, Henry Simakunda, Simukunda, he knows what I'm talking about. Any foreigner prophet who prophesy that Edgar Chagualungu is the, is, is the chosen one and is going to win again, they are going to arrest that person. Especially me. Because you know I've been saying it for a while. He's coming back again. And, he's, and he came back. You know I said it again. The people of Zambia are going to cry. And they begin to cry. So you can imagine if the person, the prophet who is saying Edgar is coming back, he now say I want to come. What do you think they're coming? They're going to do? They are going to set a fabrication against me from the airport. From the airport they're coming. Even before my plane arrives, they are going. Even as I get to the airport, they will send their people into the plane to come and meet me there. Because they know the people, they know those who are coming to the country, they know those who are coming in the plane. The moment they hear that I'm coming on the plane. They are coming to meet me in the plane. I'm telling you what this thing, these people are. So for those of you that don't see me in your country for now, this is why I can't come for now. So Cynthia, come down to Gaborun. Eh? Come down, get the testimony book. I want to say it again for the last time. The moment you begin to prophesy that Edgar Chagualungu is going to win and is chosen, you are going to be arrested. That's it. That's just the fact. So, for now, I am going to be speaking from outside. The day after, the day after this one day is out, then I can come in. For now, I can't come in. So if you are in Zambia, come down to Botswana. Anyone that speak on behalf of the grace of God on Edgar Chagualungu will be arrested. And I am the number one target. Those of you that are saying, when is prophet coming? Papa, when are you coming? I'm just telling you why I can't come for now. Because I am number one target. What is the target? What is the offense of the prophet? The offense of the prophet is Edgar is choosing. Edgar is coming back again. Edgar, the people want him. Edgar is going back to state house in 2026. This is why they're coming. They're, if I come, that's why that is my crime. If I say the one that is there is chosen, God is with you, God is with him, nobody is going to arrest me. But because I am with the God's chosen. So let me round up on this. After the election of 2021, I could have decided to keep quiet, one. Or join with this current president too, and they would they, they would not have come for me if I say God is with a kind day. Nobody is coming going to come. I, I will be coming every day. They will not fight me. So I go for number three. What is number three? I decided to continue to speak the mind of God, knowing that if I do that, I cannot come to Zambia for that. I it was my sacrifice. I sacrifice my coming to speak the truth. I did what? I sacrificed my coming. You know what it is? If you are a president of Zambia, for you are going to be there for five years. I sacrificed my coming so that I can speak the mind of God. Because you cannot speak the mind of God if you are inside, this, inside the prison. Because if I come, they, will, they are going to silence my mouth. So what did I do? I decided that it is better to be outside so that I can continue to be speaking. 
Because if I come, I have to be quiet. So I decided I cannot be quiet. So it's better not to come. You, know, you see how many pastors have been coming. They have been coming. But I decided not to come so that I can speak. That is why you have not seen the prophet in Zambia. So, uh, the Lord is going to take control. We are going to come because he's coming back again. And he's going to win and then I can come. This is the way we are going on this situation. Every power that is monitoring your destiny will crash. It is better to stay out and continue to speak than to come in and be silenced. Or to come in and say, no, I'm not going to speak, so I want to come in, let me keep my mouth quiet. No, I can't keep my mouth quiet. It's better not to come. And so that I can tell you that God is with Edgar. God is with him and is coming back again. So, every hand fighting your glory will wither. Nika must pray. I saw two chains on your legs. Nika. Who is Nika? Nika. Every chain on your legs. Tulela must pray. I saw you climbing the ladder, but then they are pulling you down. So I have answered the question of those who are saying, Prophet, you are not coming to Zambia. So this is why I am not there for now. NS from India. I saw a monitoring spell, monitoring spirit. Segapo must connect with the Prophet on WhatsApp. I saw arrow for your chest, heart problem. There's an arrow they are projecting against you. The plan will scatter. So I saw 11 MP seats are shaking. MP. The wind is coming for those MPs. 11 seats are shaking. I hear the name Lebo. 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 Is Lebo, where is your mother? Your mother's... Where is, who is watching me? Lebo, Lebo. I'm hearing the name Lebo. Who is Lebo? I saw an attack against Lebo. Where is your mother? Where is your mother? Where is your mother? Where is your mother? Lebo, Lebo. There's a woman, I'm hearing your name, Lebo. There's an evil plan for your mother. The name the lady Ketu. So Aram Zulu, you are going to see me in 2026 by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been saying, Papa, why are you not coming to Zambia? This is why I'm not in Zambia. So it is better to remain because you know it, you know it, Aram. If I come now, they are going to set me up. They're going to they're going to fabricate something against me. To pick me up so this is why i cannot come to zambia because it is better to be outside and con i am the only voice speaking speaking the will of god the mind of god and i cannot come in and be silenced better to remain outside and wait till 2026 i decided to sacrifice five years and wait I decided to sacrifice. So Adela De Boom must be very careful. Share this video wherever you are. There's a plan for your car. You are driving a car? Mm, there's a plan. There's a plan. There's a plan. I saw the vehicle. You are in a vehicle. The vehicle is some is turning upside down. You must be careful. There's a woman trying to project accident for you. 11 people there is an arrow so i hear the name lebo where is your mother who is lebo they want to put your mother in coffin who is lebo who is lebo connect with the prophet on whatsapp segapo segabo must connect with the prophet on whatsapp 
be in crusade in 24th in Gaborun. K2, I saw there's an attack projected for one of your children. There's an attack projected for one of your children. So Adela de Boom, there's a plan for your vehicle. I saw the two tires, the vehicle somersault. The vehicle somersault. There's a woman that is planning an attack. There's a woman planning an attack from your country in Ghana. So this is why I cannot come to Zambia because if I come to Zambia, the one that is in power now is going to fabricate through the police or whatever, they are going to fabricate something for me at the airport to, to, to put me under arrest because they know I am the one troubling them. I am troubling them with my prophecy. It was me that God used to speak, Edgar is coming back. It was me that God used to speak that Zambia is going to cry for him. It was me that God used to speak that nothing can stop him. He's going back. He's going back to State House Zambia. The nation of uh, Ghana must pray because I saw the former president, Mahama. Mahama is coming back. Mahama is coming back. There's a lady watching me. Your name is Mata. You have to be very careful. They want to poison Mata. They want to poison you, Mama. So the prophet is coming to, Zam to Botswana this month. The countdown is four days from now. 24th to 27th. I'm going to be in Gaborun at the Gaborun West Community Junior Secondary School. 17 hours daily, Sunday is 10 hours. We are going to pray a very powerful prayer this morning. It's going to send arrows and the arrows are going to be. So I'm going to be Vicky. I'm going to be in Botswana this month. The prophet is going to be in Botswana this month. Yes, we know Yirongo. Where are you watching from? Yirongo, where are you watching from? So this month I'm going to be in Gaborun, 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th for four days. As I step in, the rains are going to be released. So I'm going to be at the Gaborun West Community Junior Secondary School. You know where it is, third turn on your left. Third turn on the left of KFC, opposite the police station. We're going to be there this very, this, in fact, this week. This week is going to be, the crusade is going to start this week, Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So the crusade is starting this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil hand that is fighting your glory, they are going to wither. Pray for the peace of Botswana. Because I saw police, the police, after the election, they're going to be police, a lot of police on the streets. They're going to be police because I saw some protest and rioting. The wind go in, but the tree could not be removed. The wind go for the MPs and the councillor. So if you are in Botswana, you are in Gaborun, you are in Orapa, you are in Mulepulele, Francis Town, all over the world, come down to Gaborun. G West Community General Secondary School. I'm going to be there. 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 If you are in Namibia, come down. If you are in Kenya, come down. If you are in South Africa, come down. Put your hand on your body right now. We're going to pray this prayer. So, Matter must be prayerful. The prophecy I gave you, take note of it. Pray this prayer with me. Say, every hand behind my affliction, every hand behind my sickness, every hand of witches and wizards, 
I command those hands to burn. In the name of Jesus, I command it to dry up. Evil hand, dry up, 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 dry up. Every evil hand against my destiny. So he that must pray. He that must pray. Coffin must be close. Coffin must be close in your family. You know, I told you that a lot of attack of, of, of death, every attack of death, every attack of accident, every attack of affliction is going back now to sender. Is going back now to sender. Say every arrow, every projection, every divination, every mission of witchcraft, every sorcery, wherever they project that sorcery, let it go back to sender. Every projection against your destiny in the name of Jesus. You are going to say, go back to sender. In my womb, go back to sender. In my destiny, go back to sender. In my organs, go back to sender. In my destiny, go back to sender. In my family, go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, go back. Arrow from the womb, go back. Arrow of premature death, go back. There are 11 people right now. The Lord is going to heal you from every disease, every attack. 11 people are suffering from attack in your womb, in your body, in your kidney, in your bones. It is an attack of the witches. It is an attack of the wizards. Wherever the arrow is, put your hand on your body. We are going to pray those two prayer points. Say, arrow in my body, arrow in my bones, power of God, send that arrow back, send it back. Seven people, as you pray this prayer right now, witches are going to die. Those that are behind your problem, those that are behind your affliction, those that are behind your sickness, those that are behind your affliction, those that are behind your disease. The woman in the synagogue in the book of Luke chapter 13 was under attack by demonic spirits. Say after me, every attack, every arrow, every projection of witches and wizards, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back to sender, 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 go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, go back to sender, go back to sender, every attack, go back to sender, every arrow, go back to sender, every assignment, go back to sender, in the name of Jesus, go back, go back, go back, in your womb, go back, in your legs, go back, in your kidney, go back, every evil hand. I send that arrow back in the name of Jesus. Every demonic attack, every bone sickness. Somebody you are being healed now in your womb. Somebody you are being healed now in your, in your, in your body. Somebody you are being healed now in your liver. 
somebody has been healed now in your kidney. The arrow is going back. Arrow, 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 arrow. Every arrow, every arrow, every arrow, every arrow. I send that arrow back. So, there are two more accidents that is coming in Zambia. You have to be very careful. You have to pray for your former president. It's not yet over. It's not yet over. Those of you that are saying, why is the prophet not coming to Zambia? Because if I come now, they are going to set me up at the airport. That's why I can't come. The Lord told me that. You know, there was a time I came to Zambia. After that situation I experienced, I was, God gave me victory. The Lord told me, don't come again for now. So, if I come now, they are going to set me up. Even from the plane, if I'm coming down from plane, that is where they're coming for me. Because why I am the one who is saying Edgar is coming back, is coming back, is coming back. And because of that, I am enemy number one. I am what? Enemy number one of the current president of Zambia. So Vicky connect to the prophet on WhatsApp. Uh, connect to the prophet on WhatsApp. Plus two three four eight zero three four five. I saw you traveling out of the country. I saw you traveling overseas. So, you know what happened to me last time when I came to your country? They set me up. They, they set me up. That is why I can't come. I, 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 and you know, when they set me up, I was, in, I was inside detention for three months. Imagine, if God had not been on my side, I would have been finished. Last time I was coming to your nation, they say, oh, this man is, one, is the one prophesying for Edgar. They, they set me up. The people that were not happy about that prophecy, they set me up. That was then. And you know that then I was inside the cell for three months. If not for the grace of God, I could have been dead. Imagine this now. How much more now? If I come now, they are going to set me up even worse in a way that when they set me up, I will, they will never want me to come out again. Because they are, you know that matter. You know. You know what I'm talking about. So that time they set me up because I'm saying Edgar is the chosen one. How much more now? So this is why you cannot see me now in your country. Because if I come now, they are going to set me up at the airport in the worst situation. Awa Sheibu connect on WhatsApp. I saw you climbing. But there is witchcraft in your family. Bami Dele connect on WhatsApp plus two three four eight zero three four five four six one four seven. There's a woman fighting your family. So I want to say it before I pray. If the prophet was saying then, then, not now, then, if I was saying then, Edgar is chosen, and they set me up, and they put me inside the cell for three months, and they set me up at the airport in Lusaka, and they took me to Kamwala Remand, Kamwala Police Station, Kabwata, sorry, sorry, from Lusaka Airport, then they take me to Kabwata. I was in Kabwata for three days in a cell of more than 100 people. I was locked up. Why? Because I say Edgar is chosen. They set me up, then I was put in the cell. From Kabwata Police Station, they took me to the, to the court and they put me in the cell in Kamwala and Remand for three months. Then, three months, my wife did not know where I was. How much more now? When now I'm saying that Edgar is the chosen one, is returning again. You know what they're going to do now? They are going to set me up bigger, bigger, big time. 
Oh my God, they are waiting for me. Just waiting for me to come in. They don't. If I apply for visa now, they are going to give me the visa. They will be waiting for me at the airport with a fabrication. With what? A fabrication. If that time was three months, you know, how long do you think they are going to do this time? Because it was God that delivered me that time. And the Lord said, don't go back again to Zambia until God bring this, until God restore this man back. If you go now, they are going to terminate your life. They are going to assassinate you. That was then. How much more now? If I come now, they say, oh, that is the man that is prophesying. Edgar will win. Edgar is coming back. Edgar, is, they, will, they are going to, from airport, they are going to package. They will package a fabrication. They will do what, Evelyn? They will package a... Oh, some people say, oh, prophet don't want to come. This is why I can't come. Because when I came last time, you know what happened to me. You know what they did to me in your country. They set me up and put me in Kamala remand. These same wicked people, devilish group of people in your country. How much more now? Now, now is worse because why? The one that is there now, Akinde Chilema, if you speak against him, you are going to be targeted. They don't want you to speak against him. So if it is now, now is worse. If I am coming to your nation now, they have put a word. The moment the prophet is coming, you are going to set him up. With what? Fabrication. And from the airport, this time, they will put me where nobody can see me. Because the moment you speak for Edgar, you are in danger. The moment you say Edgar is chosen, you are in danger. The moment you say God is with him, you are in danger. The moment you prophesy he's coming back again, you are in danger. So they are waiting for me. And God told me, don't go back to Zambia for now. You remember what happened to Jesus? Herod was sending somebody to go for Jesus. They wanted to terminate Jesus. And the angel came to to. to to, to Joseph and said, take this child and go to Egypt for Herod is coming for this child. So the Lord told Joseph to take Jesus and go to where? Go to, go to Egypt. That is for Jesus. So somebody said, oh, even Jesus Christ had to be taken away. There's time for everything. Jesus is God. He's a son of God, but the father said, go to Egypt. Stay there until Herod is dead. So when Herod died, the same angel went back to Joseph and said, now you can go back to, because the one that is after you, this child is dead. You cannot be more smarter than Jesus. Not every time... God is going to send fire. No, no, no. There's, there's time for fire. There's time for wisdom. Jesus is son of God. God could have protected Jesus, but God did not protect Jesus. He said, take this Jesus and go to just Egypt and be there. So there's time for fire. There's time for wisdom. There's time to decree fire. There's time to go and hide for a while. So Jesus was taken by Joseph to where? To Egypt. Until Pharaoh died. So you will not see me in your country until a kind day is removed from power by God. The Lord said, you are not going back to Egypt. You are not going back to Zambia until the return of Edgar Chagwadungu. When Edgar is returned back to power, I then I'm going to come back to Zambia by the grace of God. That is when you see me. Because Jesus did not come back to, to Israel until Herod was removed. Herod was dead. 
This is wisdom. Not every time is fire. There's time for fire, there's time for wisdom. Until the return of Edgar, then I come back. Because this is how wisdom, this is time for wisdom. This is not time for power, this is wisdom time. There's time to, to, to send fire and there's time to hide. You say, oh, Papa, where is it in my Bible? Where is it in the Bible? He's there. Go and read the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 1 and 2. There was a time that they had to take Jesus away and go and hide in Egypt. If you go, if you don't use wisdom in the right time, you can die. If they did not take Jesus away to Egypt, Herod will kill Jesus. There is time to hide. There is time to confront. There is time. Yes, Chitla. There is time for fire. There is time for wisdom. If you don't know how to operate, you can go with fire when it's time for wisdom and God will not deliver you. If God says go and hide and you don't hide, God will not deliver you. The same God has sent fire against the enemies of Elijah. The same God said to, Mo, to, to, to Joseph, take away this child and go and hide. Why did God not send, say, no, let Herod come. We're going to consume Herod and the enemies. No, there's time for wisdom, there's time for power. There's time for fire and there's time for, wis for, for, for wisdom. If you, if you don't operate in wisdom when it is needful, you can die before your time. So this time I am in now is time of wisdom. And this time of wisdom means I must keep away from Zambia until Akande Echilema is out from power. That's what God told me. He said, don't go back to Zambia until that man is out from there. But you keep speaking from outside. 